So I've been testing now for over a month the Sugar Victor 3 Ocean Radio Alpha NR1 noise reduction box. It's a small little unit and it sits right in the input of the receiver input of the K3. Doesn't need a sense antenna, it's just a, right? Doesn't take RF um, from transmit. And uh, I'll tell you what, it works. I'm gonna show you something here you're gonna like. Anybody who has line noise, heavy line noise. Now, just to let you know, you have to beam right at the line noise. Whatever the direction of the line noise is where it works best. If you have multiple directions where line noise is coming from, it may not work, but when you have one steady source of line noise, uh, the same pulsing rate, it works fantastic. Watch this. I have the audio down on my K3. I'm going to chart it up. I have the noise blanker off. I'm beaming right at the US where my line noise is on a pole. And uh, this is with the noise blanker off. Now I'm going to turn the unit off. Well, you can see here, look. Now I'm going to turn it off. Wipes everybody out. You don't see any signals on the band scope. Now I'm going to turn it back on. That's, a, that's pretty impressive. The damn thing actually works well. Again, you have to be pointing right at the line noise. If you have uh, a beam in a different direction and the line noise drops down, you still have a little bit. It's, it's in, it doesn't really uh, work really well. But when you're right at the line noise, in other words, when the line noise is loudest and it's worst, is when this thing works the best. So here we go again. Let me see if I find another signal. And that's what the line, the noise blanker, I'm gonna turn the noise blanker on, make it even better. Let me see if I find some good signals here on 20, this is on 20 meters. Let's see here. There's an S7 signal. Now I'm gonna turn it um, off. That's off. I mean, I've got terrible line noise towards the U.S. direction. Hey, I'm going to turn it back on. Look at that. That's that's pretty amazing. Uh, this is part two of my review of the SV3 RA uh, NR1 noise blanker. Now you can see the settings on here. Um, the IMD is actually like a pre-selector. You you peak it per band. Now the gain I have here, the 10 o'clock position, balance, 3 p.m., output 12. I come up with these settings and they seem to work where I can keep all three of those to the right at the same position for every band. The only thing I have to uh, adjust is the, um, the IMD adjustment per band to peak the signal or turn it on or off. When I'm beaming towards Europe, I can... Um, use my antennas and, and some combination of things I do here to re that there's no noise, it's very quiet. This thing, if there's a little bit of line noise coming from a different direction and you have a little bit when you're beaming the opposite direction, it's not gonna, it doesn't do much. But when you beam at the direction where you're right at the line noise, when you have maximum line noise, is when it works. And these settings right now that I'm at, all I have to do is adjust the IMD, the uh, pre-selector per band and uh, we're going to use this in a contest. Now, the gain has to be set down. Otherwise, you have little problems in a multi-multi or a multi-single environment, but there's another transmitter. So I've come up to about 9 or 10 o'clock where I don't have any problems, and it, and it works fine. So um, it's, it, it's a game changer. If you have line noise in one direction, that's killing you. Um, I, I can hear JAs in towards the U.S., uh, HL, with this thing on. Without it, I'm done until I figure out where that line noise is coming from. KP4AA. Hey, JP, take a, listen to this, 14250. Turn the volume up. Listen to that.
And I mean, there's nothing you could work there. Now watch when I turn the NR1 on. There's a Poda net. Parks on the air. That guy's a bunch of guys are calling in and working. And you can easily hear every single one of them. Now watch when I turn it off. That's beaming right at the U.S., uh, at that pole. And it, the same position on the NR1 works on all bands. All you have to do is turn the, uh, the IMD, that pre-selector, to the right band or when the signal's loudest. 